them. Okay. Quantifying the use efficiency is kind of uh, part of the design process. And um, this, this can be done in very technical ways, right? But in a controlled environment, the easiest, it's still kind of crude, but the easiest way to do this is simply output, okay? So um, in, in this instance, we're, we're comparing you know, the watts consume to um, biomass. Right, and um, I will say too, this is not just quantitative. So we're not just talking about um, how many pounds or kilograms of biomass we're producing. We're also thinking about the quality of the biomass we're producing, because not all biomass is saleable, not all biomass is equal. So we need to be specific and think about biomass of a certain type. Um, there is, of course, going to be variation in the ratio of red to blue light and uh, that ratio of red to blue light, the introduction of maybe additional spectrums, um, can impact uh, that, that measurement. And um, especially once we start talking about qualitative um, aspects of that biomass. So uh, basically you wanna be producing biomass that you can sell, and the amount that you can produce as a function of the watts um, that you are consuming um, to produce it basically tells you what your light use efficiency is. Now, let me say again that this is um, somewhat crude because there can be other bottlenecks, right? If you're producing enough, if you're supplying enough light but you're not supplying enough CO2, then um, you know, you've, you've, you've introduced another bottleneck and that, uh, that reduces your light use efficiency. Same thing with temperature, same thing with uh, you know, humidity and all of these other things, disease, pathogens, all this stuff. There's all sorts of other bottlenecks that can be your most limiting variable in a production environment. It's not always light, but oftentimes it is. 